Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to create a private WordPress blog using the password protected categories WordPress plugin. At the end of this tutorial, you're going to know how to create a private area within a blog on your WordPress website where you have to enter a password in order to view the post within that category. There's two ways you can do it. You can either um, put all of your posts within this password protected section and create a completely private blog within your public website or you can alternatively just create a password protected category for part of your blog so you'll have some public blog posts and you'll have private blog posts. What this tutorial will not do is show you how to password protect your entire WordPress website. Um, I'm just going to be showing you how to create specific parts of your website and put blog posts within that password protected area. So let's get started. So as you can see, we're using the password protected categories plugin and I'll show you how to set it up for a private blog. Here's my test site. This is a pretty simple WordPress site that I've set up using the free 2017 WordPress theme. And I've added some blog posts as you can see. And at the moment, I've only got one category in my blog. So I'll show you that here. So we'll go posts, categories, and all I've got is one normal category, which is public. Um, and But what we want to do is create private protect, uh, password protected categories so that people can access those with a password and they're locked down for everybody else. To do that, you need to get the password protected categories plugin, which you can buy from our website here. And then you go to plugins, add new and install it in the usual way. And you can see here that I've already got that installed on my test site. So once you've done that yourself, you've installed password protected categories on your WordPress blog site. You go to settings and protected categories. And this is where you enter the license key that you'll receive when you get the plugin. And you'll also see some other pay, um, options within the settings. There's only a few settings for the plugin. It's really easy to set up. So login page, you need to select a page which will be used to allow people to log into your password protected categories. Um, you can either link to the login form or just link to your protected categories directly, in which case people will just automatically be directed to your login page. And then when they enter the password, they'll be directed back to the category where they can see the blog posts within. You can change the text as well on your login page. So you've got a button here that says you can have login or whatever you want, um, enter anything. Uh, you've got a message that appears above the enter password box on the login page. So you can word that to whatever you like. And um, there's also an option which is quite clever to show your password protected categories and post to visitors. Now, if you don't tick this box, then all the posts in your password protected categories will not be visible on your main shop, on your main, sorry, blog page. They will not be visible in um, anywhere else on your site. If you add a link to the category directly to your navigation menu or um, widgets, you might have posts that are within password protected categories in your recent posts widget, for example. If you leave this box unticked, then none of that will show until you've entered the password. And then when a user has entered the password, all of that will suddenly appear so that they can navigate in within your private blog. If you tick this box, then the protected categories and the posts within them uh, will be visible on the public site. So if you've got a recent post widget, as you see, I've got here, if any of these blog posts were within a protected category, then if you tick this box, then that would still be visible here. But if somebody clicks on it, then they will have to enter the password. So they won't actually be able to read the post. It will be protected, but it will be visible, if that makes sense. And also you can choose how long before the password expires. What that means is that when somebody has unlocked a protected category, um, by default, they will still be able to access it from the same browser for 10 full days. If you want them to have to re-enter the password after a day or something like that for security reasons, whatever, then just change it the number of days here and save changes. So that is how you set up the protected categories plugin for your private blog. Next, we will go to posts categories 
and I'm going to create some password protected categories. So I'm going to call mine private blog. So I'm just creating a new category under post categories, all normal WordPress stuff, except for this. This visibility section is what is added by the password protected categories plugin. By default, um, everything is public, but you can choose from two options. You can password protect your category or you can mark it as private. Password protection is what we've really been talking about in this tutorial, which is where you add a password which your visitors must enter to access that category or any of the posts within it. And you can add as many passwords as you want. So I'm going to write password one and password, oh, sorry, and password two. So you can, you could, if you wanted to, create a different password for each visitor to your private blog, and then you could um, give them their own password. So if you wanted to revoke their access, you could just click the minus to delete their password, and then they wouldn't have access anymore. So that's how you use password protected categories, and then you would click add new category. But before we do that, I'm just gonna talk you through private categories, which is another option. A private category will display for logged in users of a specific level. So, um, you know, in, in users in WordPress, you've got different user roles. You've got author, contributor, subscriber, editor, administrator, that kind of thing. So a private category will normally appear to logged in editors and administrators, but it will be completely invisible. And so will the post within that private category to everybody else. So if you do want to link your private blog to actual WordPress user logins, uh, because each of your visitors is a WordPress user on your website, then you could use private categories. And if you want to give access to your private categories to a user who is not an editor or administrator, what you can do is use a plugin such as user role editor, which lets you change which user roles have access to private content, so private posts and categories. Um, so we're going to do password protected for now, and we're going to click add new category. So you can see here that my private blog category has been created and it is password protected. Now I'm just going to give you another tip, which is that you can create more complex category structures. So I'm just going to show you a few different ways you can use the um, password protected categories for your blog now. So I'm going to write another one called um, another private blog, how original. And let's password protect that with password three and we'll add new category. So that has created a separate password protected category. Now, when you basically the password for this one is password one and the password for this one is password two. That means that you can actually create multiple private areas within a WordPress blog and give different passwords to different users. So if you have one user group who you want to access parts of your blog and another user group who you want to access different parts of your blog with different posts in, then you can do that just by creating separate password protected categories. And another option for you is you can create child categories of a password protected category, which allows you to create a more complex category structure within a private blog. So let's call it private subcategory and password protect that with password. No, we, sorry, that's my mistake. When you create a subcategory, you do not password protect it. What you do is you select the parent as one of your password protected categories. So I've created a new parent and I've selected as a new category and as the parent, I've selected this, which is already password protected. And then you leave the visibility as public and click add new category. So you can see here, I've got a subcategory nested under a password protected category. Now, the reason that I left this as public is because the password protected categories plugin will automatically pr protect my child categories with the same password as the parent. So what you can do is add as many levels of child category and lots and lots of subcategories all within a single password protected category. And this is really useful to create more complex structures where your users only have to enter one password to unlock all the posts within the main password protected category, all the subcategory pages, and all the posts within the subcategories. So 
they just enter one password on any of these areas and it will let them into everything within that whole section. So that is loads better than password protecting individual posts in WordPress, which you can also do because users only have to enter one password to unlock tons of content while it's still protected from everybody else. And another tip with this method is that if you did want to hide your entire WordPress blog behind password protection, what you would do is create one parent category and you would put all your posts and child categories under that main password protected category. And that allows you to hide an entire WordPress blog on your website. So let's see how it works. Now we're going to go to, let's add a few to the menu. So let's go to appearance menus. And we're going to add the categories we just created to the menu. So to do that, you appearance menus and you find the category section here. So I'm going to view all and we're going to add all of these new categories that I just created. And because that's a child category, I'm just going to nest it underneath there. So it's a drop down. Right. So let's save menu. And I'm just going to go back to the settings page to show you how it works. So settings, protected categories, and here we are. So at the moment, as you can see, we will not be able to see our protected categories or anything on the site. I'm going to tick that because I want to see them at first and then I'm going to show you how we hide them. So let's refresh our blog page here. So because I ticked the box, we are showing our private categories on the public website. So We've got the public blog category and here you see we've got the categories I just created. So let's click on one of them now. So we've got private blog and it's telling us to log in. So you could see it in the menu, but you cannot actually access it until you've entered the password. And it, by the way, the design of this page will depend on your theme. So this is what password protected pages look like in the 2017 theme, but depending on your theme, it will probably look different and you could style it any differently as you chose to as well. So let's go back to the public blog category. Again, you can see um, the content and I've just realized that we need to actually put some posts within our protected categories. So let's just do that quickly now. So I'm going to put the hello world post in my private blog and private subcategory. I'm going to put this one in another private blog and that one in just in my private blog. So I've sort of created all the different combinations. So I'm going to refresh the page. You can see all my posts here, including hello world, which as you know, is in a protected category. So let's go back to the settings page and untick this box. And I'm going to show you how that changes it. We, get, we untick the box to hide the protected categories and posts from public view. So back to the website and we'll refresh the page. Before we refresh, see these in the menu and you can see hello world in the recent post widget. So we're going to refresh and hello world has disappeared as have those menu items. That's because we just unticked this box. So that's how it works. It's completely hidden the protected content from the website um, unless you have entered the password. What we're going to do now is add a login link here, which you can use to access any category. So that's quite clever. So we're going to go to appearance menus and I'm going to find my login page, which is there. I'm just going to add that to the menu. So we'll just call it login. That's a bit more user friendly. And we'll save that and refresh the page again. So you see we've got the login page here. So I'm going to log in and log into the protected category below. Now I can add the password for any category here and it will direct me to the correct category. So I'm going to add password one, which is the, the password for my main category and I'm going to log in. And there we are. Now we've entered the password for the private blog category we can access um, the category and see all the posts inside. And it's also appeared in the menu because I added it to the menu. You don't have to add it to the menu, that's your choice. And because we've unlocked the parent category, we've also unlocked the child category as well so that we can see the posts within that. And that's it. You know how to use various combinations of the password protected categories to create a WordPress private blog for your website. 
the public parts of your site or your main pages and your main blog page and public blog categories will still be available for public view but you can password protect some or all of sections within your blog so that only people with the correct password can access them. You also know how to show or hide your private protected content from your public website and you also know how to create private categories to specific roles of logged in user. And you can get the password protected categories plugin from our website barn2.co.uk and let me know if you have any problems with it. We offer full support in setting up the plugin, so just get in contact if you want any help setting it up or if you have any specific requirements that you want to talk through with us.